Alrighty, so we are going to check out the Christmas projects first. So are we going to jump into the software right now? Yeah. Sure, let's jump into the software. Let's jump into the software. So I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to... Don't apologize, Nikki. Nikki said I'm sorry. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> we appreciate the feedback. So again, we do have steps in here um, to show you how to build it just in case. Dirty fingernails. Yeah, I wonder who that is. This, those are maker fingers right yeah, there. Yeah, for sure. And internet boy looking adorable. There you go. So... Back in 2017. He's all grown up now. <laughs> he's, he's an old man. <laughs> all right. So I'm just going to download these. Picture frame ornament PDF. Uh, I just like to do it to the desktop. <clears throat> uh, let's show in folder. I'm, I'm not clicking that well today. You're really not. You're struggling. Goodness. The struggle is real. So we have two different sizes, two by two or a passport picture size. I totally forgot I did two different sizes. That's pretty cool. Or you could just scale it up, really. Um, so we are going to go ahead and click and drag this and drop it in. All right? Did I unzip it first? Extract all. There we go. We'll go to the desktop. That's why I like to extract things. Extract. I'm going to have to clean my desktop off one of these days. I know. From all the crap that you've put on there. <laughs> uh, Beard Guy 92, he's still on <laughs> yep. there. Christmas photo ornaments, drag and drop into the software. And there we go. That easy. Internet. So this is our internet browser. Uh, like, our, this isn't connected to any machine. This is just a software you can get and look at via the website. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you go to any of the laser pages to view the lasers, if you scroll down a little bit, there will be a little blurb about RE3, and there will be a little button that says Try Now. And it will direct you to this website where uh, you can pretty much use all the features of RE3 without yeah. having to be connected. Now, it defaults to, uh, what is that? The size is a 40, no. It's a mu size? L yeah, looks to be. Okay, so this file has all kinds of stuff in it. <laughs> yes, it does. Yes, it does. So we can individually delete these things. We don't need the engravings. Um, here, the, yeah, we can visually turn those off, grab these, and then we can just make it the Christmas tree, which is three layers. We'll just get rid of all these. Delete. Oops, Control Z. I saw that, Tim. I saw your face. Like, man. Anyways, you get the picture, right, Tim? Yeah. You get it? Now, when it comes to vectors, you can change the colors in your design software. Different colors represent different powers, it, potentially, right? Right. So if we zoom in to the Christmas tree right here. Come on. Oh, I'm still on the sub-select tool. We'll grab the little hand. I thought having the mouse was gonna make it easier. Was gonna help you out today, but I know. <laughs> but apparently not. I know. Um, Most of the time he's on a trackpad. I know, and I do better. I think because I'm like pushing myself, you know. Um, so as you can see, there's a red vector right here, and surrounding it is a red vector with a black vector. 
You know, the black vector, we don't want to cut that, obviously. Right, that's just the decoration that you could engrave, but it'd be a little bit quicker if you do a... Uh, vector mark. Vector mark, yep. And what I like to do is actually vector mark it with masking tape on, and that helps me paint it easier. Right. Especially with its acrylic. If it's acrylic, then I can just do, like, let's say the ornaments, pull that masking tape off, paint it, and then pull off the parts where I want green, paint it, and then the other, like a black outline, paint it right over the top of each other. Yep. That way you can't see it from the other side. There you go. There you go. Tip of the day. So we just want to mark those uh, black vectors. So we're going to make the power 10. I like to keep speed 100. And uh, that's just going to give you a nice vector mark. I like to keep those before the actual cut, just like an engraving. You don't want it to do all that vector marking after it's shifted and cut all the way. Right. Potentially. Potentially. So for a cut, let's pretend we're doing three mil, which this project is made for. We'll do 30 speed, 100 power, 100 current. We could play with the current there just to reduce the char on the edge, but we're going to call it that right now because we just want to get it done. Right. You know? Exactly. Uh, Nikki, vector marking is essentially just like scoring. You're, you're basically just doing the exact same thing you would to cut something out just at a significantly lower power. So yeah. you're just doing a vector engrave almost. Yeah, uh, imagine like a fast, like doing an engrave, uh, a vector, but it's an engraving. Right. So you're just marking the top. Uh, sometimes you can just cut through the, the paper or masking tape and then do something like that. Mm -hmm. So there's many different ways you can play with that. And a lot of the time, <coughs> it's going to be quicker and just as good looking if your project uses vector marks versus engravings. Right. Just comes down to how, do you, how you design it. Right. Yeah, like little line art like this is super easy to vectorize and uh, just looks a lot cleaner. Yeah. So you don't have any pixelation, you don't have to worry about resolution. Let's like let's say you're making a coin or something, some something that says like 2019 or whatever. Um, it's going to be a lot faster to bump those out. Say you're doing some kids' projects for a school or something like that, just to vector mark them rather than engrave all of it. So think of engraving as a fill, and vector marking is just the outline. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Does that make Does that make sense, Michaela? Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you for participating. <laughs> <coughs> All righty. So I think we're done jumping into the software. Let's yeah. jump out of the software. Tim, you got an exit for that? All right. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Not as cool as jumping in, but I will take it. <laughs>